Okay, the next one is the mini Kelly. Do you want to go first or you want I'm me to go? I'm going to pass on this one. I know. I knew you were going to feel that way. Hi, guys. We are back with a really fun video. We have my friend Sarah with me. Uh, this is also her first time on, like, a YouTube video. It is. Um, so, honored to have her. We're doing a Smasher Pass. So, we have 13 bags. I have a whole slide deck on all of the bags we're going to talk about. Um, and then we're just going to talk about, like... Smash your Hi guys, um, if you're new here, my name's Celeste. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do host videos every week. Okay, so I feel like I kind of already gave an introduction. Also, don't mind the background. We're under construction at the moment, but um, we have a very exciting cloth that's coming. So I'm very excited to give you guys like a tour, haul, everything but with that said let's get into the smasher pass okay so the first item is going to be the louis vuitton speedy um i do have one um but you guys know how i feel about it i guess do you want to smash pass in you can also choose between different like leathers or like special edition ones i see okay um i think i would smash the on front you know i love this bag okay it's classic i love the black i think i'm gonna pass on the fun prints these ones always make me a little bit angry they're too hectic like the one with the cherries mm. not for me the new sunset color one that they did this year yeah. it just makes the bag look very bloated i feel like the classic this one is has like a very slimming effect because what about what about monogram i feel like you can't go wrong with it so that one's she's, a smash you'll learn that she's like a very monogram girl but like really only for louis vuitton yeah, I feel like that's I don't true. do the, the other ones, but yeah. yeah, you can't go wrong with the classic. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a pass. I'm gonna be honest, like, <laughs> as, even this? though I, like, have the bag, Come I haven't used ears. this bag in over two years. Like, I don't think I've used this bag since February of 2020. I haven't seen this bag. <laughs> that's why I took it out of the closet, yet. like, it's not even on. <laughs> it's not even on display. Um, Poor bag. So, I think I'm gonna say pass. I, people are saying the Speedy's, like, you know, coming back, um, but... I think because I of the mini. Oh, the the nano the speedy. The nano speedy, yes. Mm. With the adjustable strap, I think that's given it a little bit of a resurgence, but just that oh size. My. Yeah, this is like too big. It's too big on my frame. Like this one, I feel like you have also tried to sell a couple times. I like thought about thought it about and about then it. never like committed to it, um, just because I can't get this anymore. So yes, you, okay. I mean you got it at the right time, but smash, yeah. it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, the next one is the mini Kelly. Do you want to go first or you want me to go? I'm going to pass on this one. I know. I knew you were going to feel that way. I feel like the mini Kelly is what everybody is getting now so that they can okay. then get invited to a Birkin. Um, I also keep seeing it in the worst colors. I will not name names, but the like green with the royal blue, it's just not... Not a vibe. And I feel like they keep giving away these really ridiculous colors so that people talk about it. And then I don't see the pink. I don't see the black ever. I don't know. She's just not, she's not my cup of tea. She's just like a baby Birkin. The, I was too stunned to speak. The mini Kelly is the most exclusive bag. So people have to spend way more money. Like it's easier to get a Birkin than it is to get a mini Kelly. That's crazy to me. I feel like that's a... I feel like that's a newer development and that's why I just don't. Mm -hmm. I'm not in it. I'm not up to she's, date on the She's ladies. nice. Yeah. I get the I get the classics. Like I know that the Birkin's always been the Birkin, like for years. Yeah, for for years. But this is like a newer development. This, this is the first time hearing of this. I think the mini cat like I think it's just because it's like newer, it's like tiny, everyone likes the tiny bag. The tiny bag thing, yeah. But if they were to make a baby Birkin. It would just look they, like a they baby have bag. one. It's like a I think it's a Birkin twenty, but I think it's like very seasonal. I don't oh, think they have one. Yeah, but it's still like very small. Small. um and people sell these like on the resale market for like forty thousand dollars i mean i believe that it, they're just having a moment right now they, i think yeah. everybody really wants and then the whole you have to get invited to everything it's like a new level of exclusivity it's for sure yeah i'm definitely a smash for the mini kelly should not be a surprise to you like if i get i will do anything i will do whatever it takes to be offered a mini kelly but you know don't say you'll do whatever it takes <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a bad idea <laughs> Um, but you know, I get it if you want to pass. Okay, so the next one is the Chanel 19. Um, thoughts? 
I am a pass on this one too. She's not the classic flap, and you know I have a special place in my heart for the classic flap, especially the jumbo. This one is very small, and then the chain just like doesn't do it for me. It's too much. It seems like it's two bags that were kind of mm. smushed together. I think if I had to go with it, I'd go with like a fun color like the pink, or oh. even like a. They had that mid green color this year that i really oh. liked i don't know if they'd made the chanel 19 in it specifically mm -hmm. but i know they did other leathers in it um, yeah not a fan of the tweed not a fan of the black so I think oh pass. oh see we get like an unpopular opinion <laughs> i feel like it's a it normally it would be a pass for me as well but something about it in like the tweed they did like i think lou has this and like this cookies and cream like tweed mm, that's a cute something name. about that just makes it like a smash for me but i've seen them on like the resale market for like eight thousand dollars i'm like eh, no we're see, yeah, that, um, <laughs> that makes it a pass yeah <laughs> it's the price that makes it a pass not so much like the bag itself but i i totally know what you mean about like the mixed colored like strap and the hardware like yeah. it's it's a lot okay so the next bag we have is the prada crystal re-edition um, speak lightly because I'm sensitive. So smash or pass? Um, I'm gonna pass on this one too. Um, I'm a regular re-edition girl. I've had my eye on just like a good old like pink or black one of these guys mm -hmm. without the crystals. Have you seen the price increase on these now? I know they're nuts. That's why I haven't gotten one yet. Um, I think this is just more like if we were bags, you would be this one and I would be the plain one. Like <laughs> both classics, both great shapes. You just to always take it to the next level yes but that's you that is not <laughs> <laughs> i feel like she just came here just to, like roast me <laughs> roast every single bag that you roast own. every bag that i own um no i agree i feel like this bag is definitely not for everyone and i didn't think that i was gonna like this bag so much right. and then now that i have it and i like use it all the time you use it all the time but i mean um, it also goes with everything i feel like you wear which is great it's just extra like i feel like this bag so exudes much. like leo energy and like this is just like me. So I'm gonna say smash and your pass. I'm pass. It's okay, it's don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> so the next bag we have is the Dior Book Tote. What do you call this thing? Uh, this is in Trois de Jouis pattern. Um, you can also get it in like oblique um, canvas, which is their regular like Dior D monogram. The um, Trader Joe's bag. Trader Joe's bag. This is what my boyfriend calls the Trader Joe's tiger bag because of the, the tiger. <laughs> I need him. <laughs> okay, so smash or pass? Um, I'm a pass on this one too. I, when I was in Europe this summer, I saw this bag everywhere and there were so many fake ones. It was like one of the most like bootlegged Canal Street kind of bags I saw everywhere I went. Um, it's also definitely one of their more timeless and well-known bags, but I feel like because of that, I've just been seeing it everywhere. Yeah. Um, and it's really popular right now for that reason. Um, I do love this colorway. I think the the tiger one's definitely my favorite, more so than what do you call it? The, the the Dior oblique. More so than the Dior oblique, but yeah, I'm a pass on this one. It is Dan has a point. It is a Trader Joe's. Bag. It's it's definitely a Trader Joe's tiger bag. I feel like I'm sure you saw a lot in Greece because yeah. like, I mean, I would not take a three thousand dollar bag to the beach. Right, and so it, like in Saint Tropez, would... you like see people like just getting sand in it. Yeah, and then it's kind of like, why am I getting sand in my bag? Like, how do you clean these things? You no, have to go you get can't. It this is why I have like the organizer inside. It keeps the, the shape really nice, which I love. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm. I mean, like, I'm a big Dior person, but this one just doesn't. I don't think it it's worth it. It doesn't do it. For, uh, yeah. It is a like, thirty five hundred dollar fabric. This is a pass because of the price not yeah. because of the bag itself mm. yeah. so if it was so what price point would you say that this would be worth it at that you would like pay for it probably like fifteen hundred dollars so like less than a neverfull because neverfull less like, than a neverfull yeah i would say less than a neverfull just because it is it's like a it's like a fabric bag you i mean the I mean? neverfull step or two it's just coated with it's like, just coated yeah i don't know i feel like that that bag also has a special place in my heart. We won't get into it. But <laughs> she it just, like puts her dog in her never I, yeah. <laughs> Um, He wouldn't fit in this one. I mean, the bigger one maybe. But yeah, yeah I think it would have to be a pretty low price point. Yeah, I know. I totally know what you mean. I feel like the price point is kind of what makes it, like makes a lot of people think that this would be a pass. Yeah. Um, it's a smash because I saved 17% on this one. So... I will take it. We love a sale. We love a deal. We love a deal. I we do, got it in Hawaii. <laughs> I do love the little version, the mini one that they come out Ooh. with. But that one, I also, it's the same issue with this one. It's faked so much. 
I feel like it was faked before it even came out. Like, it seems like it's a knockoff in yeah. and of itself. Yeah. Someone saw this and said, let's make a little one, and yeah. people are going to eat it up. Especially because, like you said earlier, the mini bag thing is such a thing this year. Mm -hmm. So they had to to make it fit into that. But yeah. it's a pass for me. Okay, so the next bag we have is the Gucci Diana. This one's a smash for me. I love this bag the moment I saw it. I'm okay. sure I saw it in one of your videos. <laughs> it like I love the bamboo handle and I know we were just talking about people thinking bags like looking cheap or looking fake and a mm -hmm. lot of people say the bamboo aspect of it makes it look like a little bit cheap. Oh really? But I think it's really timeless. I saw it when I was in New York last year and I fell in love with it. I also love the removable neon straps that they've yes. been doing around the handles because I think it elevates it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I also see them on the resale market all the time and they're very affordable, but they also yes. age really well. Yes. They don't really lose their shape and then the bamboo handle like always looks really nice, especially if you're getting one from like a good reseller. Mm -hmm. But this isn't just like a classic. I love it. I would buy this bag in every color if I could. Oh my goodness. You know you can find like the vintage version for these ones for like, because the Gucci Dan I think retails for like 3500 so. yeah. I'm gonna like leave the price somewhere here just in case. Um, But like you can get the vintage ones for like five, 600. They don't hold their value in the same yes. way, which is fair, but that also means like the resale market makes it really accessible, which I think mm -hmm. is really important for, you know, people who are trying to build up their collections or who want to have a bunch of different bags in their collection yeah. and don't want to blow their budget on just like one, one bag. single bag. On yeah. One single bag. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely agree with all of your points, but I think I'm going to pass on this we're one. We're never going to agree on <laughs> No, we're not going to agree on anything. Um, I think I like there's another Gucci bag that has the little bamboo handle I'll leave a picture here I don't know what it's called um but that one I feel like it's more subtle I'm not the biggest fan of the Gigi Marmont logo I think if they did it without the logo it would immediately be a pa smash it would be a smash it would be an immediate um, smash because you already have like the little neon band that's already like, it's already screaming Gucci. We don't need like the logo in front too. Interesting. Um, I love the Marmel logo. Maybe that's where we're. That's yeah, where we're that's the, <laughs> exactly. Okay, next one, the Dior saddle bag. Um, you know, smash. my nickname for this one is the kidney bag. So we literally have it in the slide deck <laughs> as kidney bag. I had to make sure she knew what I was talking about. <laughs> um, Saddlebag also to me, I don't know, it, like the name, I always think of like a bum bag, like mm -hmm. a fanny pack kind of bag. Okay. This one to me, one, I see it all the time. I think it's just been a super popular bag, but I just cannot get over the like organic shape. It just mm -hmm. looks like an organ. That, I mean, I didn't like this bag. I guess we both pass on this, so okay, we have something we agree. agree. Um, I didn't love the shape. I'm not the biggest fan of the shape. I feel like it's not very practical. Like, it doesn't fit a ton oh, of interesting. stuff. interesting. Um, but, but it's a pretty sizable bag. So they have a mini size, too, okay. um, which that fits nothing. I think the regular size, um, I had a friend said it was, like, too big. Yeah. But then now they come up with the strap, like, a crossbody strap, too, if you want to wear it that way. So I like that they incorporated... It to like make it more functional interesting but i also feel like the straps are never gonna lay like they do in the picture mm. like the little straps are just gonna swing and yeah. then the crossbody either like you you have to wear it or it's like just gonna dangle mm -hmm. and then it's just a mess of straps yeah no i agree i think we both agree that this is gonna be a pass um and this bag has just like been around for a while i feel like this was popular back in like 2018 and I think that's why I see it everywhere because people bought it back then and then just yeah. stopped to use it because it's an expensive bag it's not a cheap bag oh yeah I, if I bought this bag I would use it I would use it all the time you have to yeah the next one is the Goyard St. Louis tote this one's a pass for me I this is like the cousin to the Neverfull and as Celeste mentioned earlier I am a Neverfull girl through and through and it's just the pattern just doesn't really do it for me I think either especially in like a city where you have women who take these bags to work, either you have the Neverfull girls or the, or the Goyard, Goyard girls. Uh -huh. And I'm just not a Goyard girl. I think it's also like more popular in New York. Like I don't know if when yes. you were in New York you saw more. Yeah, um, I did. So people are people in New York feel like they're above the Neverfall and so they get the Goyard. And I feel like people in San Francisco have this like attitude about popular brands like Louis Vuitton and mm -hmm. like Chanel where they're like oh everybody has these I need to do something a little bit different and mm -hmm. being different isn't necessarily better and it definitely doesn't mean you better than other people no for sure like if you feel like 
depending on the bag you carry like makes you better than people like that's it's that's not the vibe that's yeah. not the vibe no um i'm also actually gonna pass on this um i feel like they always look really um like worn out like yeah, the they canvas don't feels shape. very thin it's very slouchy and i feel like the bigger the bag gets the worse that gets too mm -hmm. i think i mean i'm not opposed to like a backpack or like the very mini ones right but like the regular toe you mean i pictures they like look Sad. yes so i'll insert the same pictures here and i feel like and these are the ones that are on resale sites and they just like the canvas looks very thin it looks like it's been hit by a truck like it's just not and then i saw a tiktok that was like this girl was wearing it and it was like hot in new york and the color transferred on her shirt i saw that, that too that was insane can you imagine two thousand dollars for a bag and the color transfers from the bag onto your shirt which is also ridiculous that they're popular in new york because it's disgusting there yeah the weather is like awful consistently like you're gonna if it's gonna melt it's gonna melt on you there which is crazy yeah so pass i guess we agree on that too yeah, okay maybe as we continue in this video we'll start agreeing with each other more exactly okay so this one so actually some context when we were planning out this video i created like a notion and she just plopped in all of her favorite um bags and then we actually just saw this was it last week we went to the mall. Who knows? Uh, even last week or the week before um we went to the mall and this louis vuitton redid this bag and as soon as she walked in she's like oh let me see that one. I had to try it on. So let's see if you can put in the picture of me trying it on. Oh, I don't have a picture of it. I'll send it to you. Oh, you have a picture of it? Oh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> you trying it on celeste will put in a picture of me trying it on i am a monogram girly this bag i've seen on resale sites before and i think emma chamberlain actually got it oh. a couple years ago she's also a louis vuitton girly um and if they pay her enough money to be a louis vuitton girl she's rightfully a louis vuitton girly <laughs> um but she it's just kind of the right size i'm a smaller bag girl because i'm a small girl but i also sometimes like need to have stuff with the dog in it i need to be able to like dump a bunch of stuff in it and take it and go and i feel mm -hmm. like it's the right size for that the only thing that would like make this not necessarily a smash is the whether or not you like wear it with the zipper on the outside or on the inside oh and some people I've, since I've been looking into this bag, some people have told me that you're supposed to wear it with the zipper on the inside, and then it's just kind of a, too basic of a bag. Mm. But I think if I were to get this bag, I would wear it with the zipper on the outside. But, but then I don't know if the like seriously, but the tongue girls would come for me and say you're wearing it wrong. Um, but this one's a smash, and I will probably be buying it like the resale one. Okay, so would you point. would you buy because so the price for this I believe is around like twenty five hundred, twenty six hundred, and then you can buy it pre loved for about a thousand. In. yeah but for me this is gonna be passed because you guys know how i feel about like bachetta, bachetta like yeah. when it looks really like old and like worn, worn. Loved. loved when she looks loved it just looks it's it's not me i want my bag if i'm spending that, that much money on a bag i want it to look brand new from day one all the way until like 10 years from now uh, because usually they sit on the shelf and i don't use them i also think that's what's interesting about buying it pre-loved is that you know how it's aged already mm. so when it's like you don't have to worry about it because it's already happened like oh. it's already been through it but at the same time like that's you've always known it to look like that and it's like lived with you that way yeah um and it's also kind of fun because it is like a vintage bag like it's been yes. many years yes. like since this resurgence it was many years prior that they were yeah. making this bag um and that's kind of fun too if you're yeah. into like more of like the vintagey look it definitely looks like it's been worn yes but that's also kind of fun okay so the next bag we have is the jacques mousse le bambino um i wanted you to review this because literally you've mentioned this in my last few videos already so we're not gonna beat a dead horse but um i wanted to see your thoughts on it because yeah um, this one's gonna be a pass for me. I remember when you got this bag and you were wearing it, I was obsessed with the color, and then I realized you can't yes. open it. Turn it from the side here, like this. Like, this is as far as it opens. Um, I mean, it opens a little bit more, but, like, you really have to, like, stretch the leather. And then you also then get worried about, like, what happens mm -hmm. up here with the leather. Um, she's just not practical for that reason and I yeah. mean you definitely don't care about practicality all the time but at the same time it's a big enough bag that it's like it's almost too much for it to be that impractical mm -hmm. if it was a little bit smaller and it was more like a keychain that you were like carrying around mm. with yourself I feel like it would be it would make more sense but it's just this one's gonna be a pass for me 
Honestly, it's a pass for me too. As it like sits here, <laughs> I, I think like I really like all the colors that Jacques Mousse has yeah. and they even have this new one that's kind of in like the Sherpa shirling material. I did see material. that, which is very you. She has her Sherpa shirling. We have, a, we have a phase. As we, as we see. <laughs> um, and I, I love the color variety, but when it actually comes to the practicality of it, yeah. um, when it comes to the quality, like it's just not... It's not there. It's not there. For How much is this bag for? This one's like eight, nine hundred dollars. Yeah, it's just... It's not that yeah like, like when you feel like you're not like this is not also like your shop is already like getting kind of granted mm -hmm. i like stuffed it in the closet for a few weeks so it's okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so that both passed for this one okay so the next one we have is the balenciaga lake had goal this one is a big pass for me <laughs> i was watching a tiktok of a girl go like she's like come with me to like buy my bag and she didn't say what bag it was and she like goes to the store she's like going past all these luxury mm -hmm. stores so you don't know what she's gonna get she's finally in balenciaga you like see the box you see them wrap it up she takes it home and she pulls this thing out i'm like that is i what watched this yourself. entire tiktok it was it, i was like i was stunned i was too stunned <laughs> to speak like it kept playing because i couldn't like bring myself to go past it i was like it was like watching a, a train wreck <laughs> <laughs> um, and I couldn't believe like how much it was too. Like it just it doesn't. It's the whole like Y two K thing. I say mm -hmm. as I like wear like a very like Y two K necklace. It just with her dog's name on it. Literally, um, <laughs> it's just very trendy right now. And that um, I feel like you're gonna regret that in a couple years, especially yeah. if you get one of the more outrageous colors like the Kelly green or the mm -hmm. um, that like purple color that they mm -hmm. do it in. The black, it's like okay, like maybe if you just are really into like leather and studs, but that's also not me at all. So yeah. I feel like this bag is just like too edgy for both of our tastes. Yeah. Because we're not very edgy people. But I also like, I mean, my issue with Balenciaga, I feel like it's just a very like trendy bag. And I've said that about, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but like the hourglass that I have, I feel like it's just a very trendy bag. Yeah. Um, and this, this is like no different. It's a very trendy bag. There's a bunch of things like dangling from it. Like the mirror thing is weird. Yeah. The like extra, the like, heart, like it's that's it, too much. It looks like a, a little kid could design a bag. <laughs> I don't know. So it's a pass for both of us. Yeah. Pass. Okay. So the next one is the Fendi baguette, but we're going to make it a little bit interesting. It's the Tiffany blue edition so this is going to be coming out early next year it's available for pre-order which i'm still on the fence of whether i want to pre-order or not so i guess it depends on what sarah says um price point it's the regular size is like 53 or 5500 these are obviously going to change so don't come for me if the prices are wrong and then i think the mini size is the mini is like it's like oh this. mini and it's 3500 but the silver, the hardware on the bag is all made from Tiffany Sterling silver. This one's a smash. Okay. We're both Tiffany girlies through okay. and through. We both, we have our matching. We have matching. Okay, literally. this is unplanned. Unplanned. Well, but. we both always wear these rings. Yeah. But we're Tiffany girls through and through. Um, I am obsessed with the color. I love that all of the hardware is Tiffany. Mm -hmm. The price is like, it's a lot, but it's also a specific like they're I imagine they're not gonna have it around that much like you mm -hmm. gotta like go 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 and get it um yeah. I'm, would, I'm obsessed with this bag I think if you get it well when you get so it so you're gonna pre-order too um no <laughs> <laughs> but I will live vicariously through you as I do with most of your bags um but this one's fabulous it's such a smash okay I'm on the fence about this can I can I be like a half smash half smash half half smash half pass <laughs> because so what's holding me back number one is the price it's yeah and i was gonna get the small one because i was like oh like i mean that probably can't be that expensive i was expecting like two thousand twenty five hundred for the mini one because the mini like the regular yeah. little mini fendi is like nine hundred dollars oh th i didn't realize that That's yeah crazy. so in terms of like price point like it's way higher and then my second concern is sterling silver Tiffany's included I mean but all sterling silver will like tarnish tarnishes oh, so tarnishes I, okay, yeah. so when I have my Tiffany jewelry like tarnish yeah I'll bring it in and then they'll clean, clean it, it and yeah. do whatever but when it's on a bag how are they gonna clean it interesting gonna, yeah so so that's like the two things that are holding me back if anyone has answers to these let me know in the comments um I'm very intrigued I do really like the style I like the blue yeah I like Tiffany's I don't have a Fendi bag I That's feel like you don't. all signs are pointing to yes. Yeah. 
but what do you do when it tarnishes? And the price point is interesting. It reminds me of like the Sephora minis. Like you pay like $22 for the mini and then 30 for the full size. It just doesn't, like minis have a place, but like when the price point doesn't match mm -hmm. what you're actually getting, it seems like a waste. But then you're not going to pay $5,500 for the full And then bag. it's a big jump. Yeah. That feels like a very big jump. Yeah. Like also for a bag this color i feel like you would want it to be mini because you don't want it to be more like a fun you need it like a little statement like a little exactly and yeah. having it be like a more full size you don't get that same like yeah. wow factor exactly yeah okay so half halfway there but you think smash i i'm a smash but i'm also not the one who's thinking about <laughs> it's it, not so <laughs> I'm, I'm not in the market <laughs> Okay, so this one's the last one. We have the Bottega Jody. Do you do you want to specify on different sizes or? I was thinking the when I put this one on the list, I was thinking the biggest size, and that's, oh. that was also one I saw in Europe this year a ton everywhere, especially in the white for like bridal, and okay. then also green. I feel like people really love the Bottega green. This like color is just having a moment. Yeah, um, I'm pass on every color and every size it just it doesn't do it for me i uh -huh. saw somebody put like an amazon dupe for this in on a tiktok video and now i can't like think about i see them I'm like is that a fake one um and it's that whole game it, mm -hmm. i also feel like it's just very trendy right now and yeah. i don't know why it kind of looks like a to-go bag for like food that like somebody like because you have to not the to-go bags now so your doordash drivers don't eat your food and it's like it just gives me that vibe um, yeah. the slouchy thing just isn't really my look. I like bags to be like very crisp, very clean. Yeah. I think we're the same in that regard. Yeah. That's very interesting that you say that. I think it's going to, it's also going to be a pass for me. I think the, the mini one hits different. I think anytime that there's like a really tiny bag and then, or like a regular size bag and you shrink, shrink it, it down yeah. and then you get like a mini, I'm like, Oh, <laughs> do I need this? But in terms of like, practicality it's yeah. like it's not there um i do like the colors that it comes in they did do a good job they have a the ton colors. of colors I, the light blue is to die for yes it, but just in a different bag yeah i think that they have a ton of colors that i really like from bottega but yeah i know exactly what you mean it's not when you're when there's so many um like dupes or Amazon dupes yeah. from it, it makes it harder to justify like spending this much money on something. If I can then, if I just want to be on trend, then I go and yeah. pick up the $30 bag from Amazon yeah. and then I'm on trend for, you know, a few months and then we call it a day. I don't know that I would spend, you know, $3,000, $5,000 on it. I think you're going to see this one get phased out pretty quickly. It was just like a bag this summer and that's mm. it. And there'll be new bags next summer. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Well, that sums it up for this video. This is probably a really long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Sarah, for being on here. Thank you for having me. Um, if you guys want to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, I'll leave it here for you guys. Um, check out her dog's Instagram on my in the description box below. Um, I'll leave another video for you guys here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.